All right, all welcome to week 14. Today is April the 7th, I believe, or April the 8th, actually. It is getting on in the year. So I wasn't around last week. I had Easter off and I didn't make any content for hardly a week, but I'm back this week and I thought I would just give the initial shout out to this week in forensics because it's always a great resource. You, you can see Phil has done an amazing job collating so much information here for you to go and have a look at. Um, oh, it looks like CyberChef's been updated. So that's a really cool tool to use if you've never seen that before. But yeah, definitely come on to Philsing and check out the resources. There's always lots of great content there. But what I wanted to do this week, kind of following on from when I was talking about getting into cybersecurity and looking at Professor Messer, maybe doing Sec Plus, like where you would go from there to decide as the general foundation, is I wanted to talk about my journey when I was learning in the technical pathway. So what you could kind of replicate, and things have changed quite a lot since I've gone through and done these, but some of the resources are still here and still really good. So the first thing I wanna point out is Hack the Box. Now, this was originally the OG gamified platform for pen testing. It was, Hard to get into, they had a very interesting initial challenge to try and get your login on the website. And I think they've removed that. So it's not as hard now. They've got, it's a lot more approachable. Um, I think I've still got an account. But yeah, there's hackers. So this, this would be like the pen testing, the pro labs I've done a couple of, so I've done offshore and cybernetics, I think. Uh, they've got Battlegrounds now, which is an interesting concept. They now have Academy for a whole bunch of stuff, so you can go through a learning pathway, which they didn't have when I was going through. They do have Blue Team resources now as well. So if you wanted to do a Defender pathway, see if I can find that. Uh, I don't know whether I can. I know they do have a Blue Team pathway. I just don't know where it is. Maybe I have to sign up and do it, but... They're most well known for, for pen testing and that kind of thing. And I guess before I'll do that is another one re resource that I use. So this was before the Academy, but IPSEC is a, I, I guess like a security researcher. I'm not really sure what you would call him, but he made a whole bunch of these intro videos for Hack the Box and would go through and talk about how his process on how he would get into the boxes, what kind of MAP command he would use and also explain the vulnerabilities really well. And he always says in his videos that he doesn't, um, what's the word? He's not a smart guy, he just reads a lot. And I think that's really good in that a lot of this stuff that you do, it's not difficult, you just need to know a lot of background knowledge. And as you can see, there's lots and lots of videos here. So you definitely check him out. He's got his website, it shows his contributions as well that he's done. You can search for videos in here. His website's pretty basic. This, for those that have visited my website, this is actually what I've based my website off. Uh, I really liked his stuff. And yeah, so Hack the Box, IPSEC. Hack the Box now has the Academy. I'm not sure what it's like, but you can check that out. The next thing that I wanted to talk about was Over the Wire. So this was just good little Linux challenges, at least from when I started. Uh, I've only done Bandit, and I don't think I've even finished Bandit because it's got so each level unlocks the next level. Uh, I think I might have got up to like the high 20s maybe. I don't think I've ever finished Bandit. I have to go back and check my notes. But there is more war games than that. And these might actually be different stuff uh, in terms of... Oh, maybe not. Maybe they're all some kind of Unix flavor. Yeah, that's a Linux. Yeah, so it might just all be Linux, but it's it's good fun. And I think there's write-ups as well, so you don't have to get stuck on these kind of things. So Over the Wire was another one that I did when I was in the military. Uh, I did it at the same time as Hack the Box, which was a lot of fun. I also did Learn Windows PowerShell in a month of lunches. So this is a book that you can go buy, and I think there'd be an ebook as well. You can go through and do it. And I found, while I was looking this up, I found Don Jones, which he's made a whole bunch of videos about going through the practical parts, because that's the whole point, is as you read the chapters and you're doing this month of lunches, you're doing practical implementations. Now, I would say don't do this on your corporate network unless you've got approval, 
because this some of this stuff will set off a bunch of security flags and uh, you may have IT knocking on your door or locking you out of your computer if you work remotely. So yeah, there's nothing malicious here. It's all just about how to use PowerShell to get around the network and that kind of thing. But you can set up a couple of VMs and do it yourself. Moving on, we've got OSCP. This has definitely changed quite a lot since I did it. It was kind of a, what was that, the motto, which I th still think's the same, but it's try harder, which I felt was just a bit of suck eggs and get through the course. I have heard that the training content, I don't want to say hand has gotten handholdy, but it has gotten clearer to understand. It was very basic when I went through and you still had, I spent most of my time reading other people's blogs and doing hack the box and it's more self-contained within the course now. And this is because competition within the industry has gotten so good. So this course would now look very different from when I first went through and did OSCP, but it was really good. I, I did learn a lot. I um, learned how to research really well. Now I haven't really gotten into pen testing, but the skill set that I learned from this has really helped me in the blue side of the house. And I'm not suggesting that anyone has to go and do this if they want to do blue team. It was just at the time I had the money and the time to do it. But I think I learned a lot from Hack the Box rather than this course. And this course just got me the certification on paper. The other one from this that I did, and this has again changed really quite a lot since I did it, is TCM Security, which is the Cyber Mentor for anyone that knew the old branding for the website. Uh, back in the day, you could buy a life, lifetime access to the course. It was like 20 bucks. Now it's all subscription model based, which a lot of the cyber stuff is these days. Unless you're buying certs, then they're one off with renewals at two or three years. And there's a lot more here. There's even blue team stuff. Um, they have an academy as well. They have certifications. There's live training you can do. So there's lots and lots of content here as well that you can go and have a look at. Second last thing I want to cover is SANS. Now I wouldn't, I get asked this quite a lot with people reaching out when they're looking for jobs is do I go buy a SANS course to get into the industry? And I would say no. I would never pay my own money to do a SANS course. That's just because it's, while it's really good, and, and this is true for all of the courses, there's no information in any of these courses that you can't go get off the internet for free. All it is is very good trainers and people who have been in the industry for a long time consolidating their knowledge and delivering it in a way that's really digestible. That's what SANS is great for. And if your company pays for it and they want to upskill you within a week or a month, depending on which format of training you're doing with SANS, great. Like SANS are awesome certifications. The course content, well, the certification exam itself is a multiple choice. I think they're getting better, but I haven't done SANS course for a while. But the course content itself, the books you get, the resources they get, that you get, the tutorials that they take you through are phenomenal. And SANS is really good in that sense. It is just not attainable for an individual to buy these courses, and I wouldn't recommend anyone buying them. If you can find a course on here, you can probably find it elsewhere on the internet for through another provider that is either 90% as good, if not better, for cheaper. Uh, it will just be more self-paced learning and maybe you might have to go look up a few extra resources, but still, I, I would never recommend an individual to buy these, but if your company pays for it, great. I've done lots of these certifications over time. I think I had maybe like five or six that I've done and all company paid, so I didn't pay for any of these myself. But yeah, if you can get one and your company wants to do it, it is kind of still the pinnacle of training. Uh, the industry is getting better and better every day though. So there is lots of competition for SANS that is cheaper. And the last thing that I wanted to point out is some other blue team training. So this is blue team labs online. As a disclosure, I used to work for these guys and create content for both this and the security blue team website, which is their certification uh, pathway and courses. And um, yeah, it was good fun. Like there's lots to learn on here. Like all platforms, same as Hack the Box, there's issues with how the content's made because, um, yeah, the authors 
that write these things, which aren't necessarily the people that work for here because we had community content developers as well, is not always written so that it's accessible to everyone in the background knowledge, but you do, you get frustrated and you research a lot and, and uh, you learn a lot in that process. And that's part of the journey, I guess, in when you're trying to get in. So they have free challenges. I think they've switched to, they now have six free labs that you can do that they rotate. Uh, and then you can pay like a pro sub and do the rest of the labs, which are, are really good. And I know that they are going down the pathway of making uh, education pathways for different things. So like SOC, Instant Response, Threat Analyst, that kind of thing. Um, their certifications are, are pretty good as well. So, uh, and they're, they're competitive in terms of the market and much cheaper than SANS. So yeah, there's, and this is an, Oh, here's some active. These might be some of the free ones. Um, so here's some resources that you can do if you want to go down a technical pathway. By no means this is all of them. Like I was trying to rack my brains for others. So I know in the other blue team space, one of the competitors for this platform was Cyber Defenders. Um, Hack the Box has, oh, I can't remember off the top of my head, but there are lots more. So if you have suggestions for people, put them in the comments uh, when you, check out this um, podcast or if you're watching this on YouTube. But yeah, there's lots and lots of different resources out there and you could probably even just search them. So if you go um, like gamified, uh, gamified cyber platforms. Cyber Gamify, I've never even heard of this. I don't know whether that's one. That search wasn't very good. Uh, platforms like Hack the Box. Oh, yeah, here we go. Try Hack Me, Hacker One, Hack Explaining. So, yeah, there's heaps of platforms out there that you can learn and, and get a start off. Um, and these are kind of some of the platforms, like you don't have to go through and do all of the stuff, but if you're looking for a job and you're talking to recruiters or you're, you manage to get an interview and you're talking to the hiring manager and you're saying, hey, I'm sign up to hack the box. I'm only doing the free content because that's completely fine. Uh, hiring managers understand that um, not everyone can just sign up to all these platforms and pay for them, but hey, I'm signed up to these platforms, I've done all the free content, I'm researching current thread articles, which if you go back and listen to the other Hardly A Weeks where I talk about This Week in Forensics and about reading articles and critical reading, then that'll get you a really good start into the industry. But I've gone over the 10 minutes. I'm sorry, everyone, it's at about 13 minutes now. I hope you all have a good week and I will see you next time.